Hello, everybody. It's me. Y'all know I got a lot of time on my hands, so I'm going to be busting up all these videos. If y'all want me to make something that y'all might like to see, just let, just hit me up. So the, today is going to be a video on... I did the tray with the diva on it. That diva you didn't tray. see my video yet. I did the video on this glam. I call it the glam diva tray. I did the video on this. So you can't have a... a glam tray without having a picture so i'm doing a shadow box of the same image as her in the same setup as a shadow box so if they would like to put this in on their table then they can stand the shadow box up and have the same picture probably do a, a tissue box and a lamp a whole set mother's day is coming y'all we gotta get busy. here's all my items i got the shadow box i got the diva cut out I got the silver for her earrings cut out because that's what I use for that. Um, here's the plastic for the top. I already um, got my laminated sheets because I like to laminate my divas. Heat thermal laminate all my divas before I put them up because any type of spit or something, somebody come next to it and spit on it, if it's not in the frame, they spit on it, it's going to mess up the face. So I already cut my frame out to go over top of my border. And then I got my bling. That matches with the bling that's in my vanity table. So we're gonna get together and do this. So I got me some Too Faced tape, and here is my flowers. So I'm ready. And my scissors and my hot glue and my gems. This time I just won't be using no resin. So what I'm gonna do first is uh, all my earrings has been cut out, and the way you cut out the earrings and stuff, you take um. You take another picture, which is a diva, another diva, the same size as that, and you cut out the earrings, you cut out the headpiece and everything, and then you basically, when you cut it out, you basically um, tracing over the shape to be able to put it back so it can be perfect without you trying to figure out the shape of the earring. So any picture you find, you just slice it, you cut it, and you put it on here, and you can cover the earrings. Even if you want to do the lips, you can cut the lips out on here and give her glitter lips. You can cut this part under her eyelash and, and, and put a teeny strip under there for her eyelash. And then I put everything in the thermal and I heat it up. This shadow box is dedicated to Joyce Murray. She asked me to do this. So it's dedicated to her. My girl, my friend, who's been with me from day one, from YouTube, from Facebook. And um, she's coming to Jersey, y'all, so I'll be posting some pictures of me and her. Yay, we're going to hang out. All right, let's get started on our diva. So I got... All right, y'all. Let's put our diva together. My... My diva together. So I'm gonna start with with my board. This is a glitter board. That's my background. The same background I had on my lens. I'm using two face tape, so we don't have to worry about none of that. And then I'm gonna start with her. So I cut a head piece out. Make sure you try to get this down the first time. This, this is some good, good tape here. Using this Too Faced tape, you only got one chance. If you mess up, you might have to cut a whole new diva out. But I know I'm trying to make sure I get it all together. I don't like long videos. So my group is called Crafting Together as One. Come and join our team. Um, everybody's making some amazing stuff. Everybody's doing good at it. Uh-uh, now how that get stuck on there? See? That's terrible. I guess we gotta pay attention to what we're doing. She's ready. To be thermal laminated. 
I got my laminated machine already turned on. There we go. Up there on the top is pink. And here's a hole. 13, 13 by 19 she can go through there. So I'm going to go ahead and get her, her prepped and ready. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to put this next piece on here, which is upside down. Like I said, you're going to get one chance to do it right the first time. Because you can't take it back off. Okay. So that's on there. You got some little bit that I left up here, but what are you going to do? Let it go on top of there. While that's getting their stuff together. This is pretty. I got it from the Dollar Plus store. It's inside my vanity tray, so I'm going to put it here as well. Got sticky back. I'm gonna get some more because it's pretty. All laminated now. Try not to cut too, too, too close to the earrings and stuff. Nobody gonna see the outline anyway because it's clear. So you really wouldn't see it as much. But uh, for at least for around the hat and the earrings, I try not to get too close to it. The rest of the paper, it's okay. It's just around that, around the head and the earring. Because if you cut it too close, it's going to open up. And you don't want it to open up. And all my divas... I've never used the Cricut to cut a diva out, except if I was putting it on a uh, on a card, on a gift card or something. All of them is cut out by hand. Two face tape, every crafter should have it in their room.
my thing solid. The, glass, the plastic shield is not in yet, but I'm putting it here so I can know where I want to glue my flowers at. So I think I'm going to, because I wanted to, it's going to smack, the glass is going to push it down anyway, but I still need to know exactly where I want to put it. And I'm going to stick it on the board itself. Stick it on the board. Just stick it down the bottom where she at. Make sure it ain't sticking to nothing. Turn up the top. Do the same thing. Where I want to put it at. I think she might look cute with one. We don't want to overdo her head. So we're just gonna put one there, moving it around. I always like to cover her eye a little bit. I like the peekaboo, the peekaboo eye look. I got my green gems, the ones I use for the other one. And my little tray from the dollar store. So basically, I'm just going to focus for her earrings and this. And I got some B7000. I guess I'm putting this on top of the laminated sheet because it makes your diva's skin look brighter and nicer take my time with my little wax pen I want to sit here and do this because some people like this whole process and they be saying I'll be skipping stuff. So, if y'all want to watch, watch. If you want to skip, skip. Please take time out and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like I said in my other video, I work very hard to try to make things look simple and easy so y'all can make some of these beautiful items too. Sometimes they can be complicated for some things, but I don't need these divas so easy that anybody in the world can do it. And my first diva, when I decided to put that picture on it, that diva got up to 130-something thousand people saw it. Can you imagine? Like, my grandkids watch my videos. It's weird. It's weird that I'm watching my own videos. I'm like, damn, I think I forgot something. Let me go and turn it back on to make sure I remember a step. <laughs> it happens. It happens. She's looking real pretty already, ain't she? And that didn't even take long. Once you prep everything and know what kind of idea you want to put down, listen, I want to see your shadow boxes. The group is called Crafting Together as One. And, um... The photos are in the album section, so you can go to the photos and pull up all them photos for the divas. And I guess these divas really not going to go out of style, 
right now it's been still going strong for some time a lot of people i had hurt my my shoulder my shoulder's not good so i need to not move it around too much because it's it's like a nagging pain in it so right now i'm home out of work chilling waiting to find out what they want to do about my shoulder um, So certain movements bothers me. But I'm going to be okay, people. As long as you got the right wax pen, take your finger, rub the tip. You see how fast this go? Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. So earrings and everything is done. I'm going to, I don't know if I want, well, I guess I can do the same thing I did the other one. I add like, um, maybe one here, you know, just to spark it out a little bit. Bring your eye attention up to the gems. That's all without taking away from her, her pretty face. Y'all do know my go-to diva for everything is her. Her and the other one, but I love her. This one, this one has a face that actually can have a thousand looks. A face with a thousand looks. She wouldn't have no problem with her face. Can go a long way with her face. So we're pretty much done. We're done. I got my shadow box here. This is what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna stick it under there. Stick it under there. Take your fingers, pull some of these things up. It's looking pretty already. I gotta peel, peel this off and fasten that inside. That's the last, last thing, only thing I didn't prep is peeling this off, that clear coat that we need. Oh, we have enough like that clear coat that we need to put on here. And then I'm going to figure out how to um, fix the flowers on there. So I took and cut the flowers off the side, cut the flowers off on that side. So this is what I purchased from Ikea. It's not a shadow box. But it was only like four dollars, three or well, four dollars. So what I did, I flipped it out and turned it upside down to make it a shadow box. Because I didn't want to go out and buy that. So I'm just gonna, gonna put this in here. And I don't want it to literally smash the flowers too much. So I'm just gonna um hold this in place and create my own diva box. And I'm gonna add glue in this corner. To hold it in place for me because the pieces that hold it together are in the inside so this this should work just be patient and give it some time to dry so it can actually hold it together in place that's it when that glue dry in these corners holding my board up properly where it should be Y'all know, y'all notice lately in my videos, I haven't been burning myself. I've been actually <laughs> doing pretty good without burning myself. So this just need a few minutes to dry. Y'all ready? Y'all ready to see it? All the glue is dry. My stand is intact. I put glue here in this corner and this corner. <clears throat> Tell me she ain't cute. It's got some glare in the back. Let me turn it a little bit. But here she go, y'all. Here's my shadow box. Now you can't tell me she's not pretty. And she on the stand. So now we can put it up. It's going to last 
for a long. Let me try to get the glare, the glare out of it. Look, y'all. So you got your your glam diva tray, and then you got your picture in the background. Look at that. Then you can have this on your dresser, along with her on your dresser. Come on now. How y'all like it? Thanks for watching my video, y'all. Everybody, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Because I think she turned out very pretty. She looked she look just like the other one. There you go.